Hi, welcome to Marker Board Videos. My name is Nancy Foote. The next video in our Math and Minutes Algebra 1 series is to evaluate a number and determine whether it's a solution to an inequality or not. That sounds complicated. It's not. Let me take you through it. If I'm given an inequality like this, 2b is less than or equal to 7. If you've watched my previous videos, you know how I recommend you solve those. You pretend like that's an equal sign, so 2b equals 7. Solve for your variable, in this case it's b, b equals 7 halves. And then ask yourself, did I multiply or divide by a negative number? I did divide, but it's not by a negative number. If that's the case, I put my sign, my inequality sign, back in exactly the same way as it was. If I did multiply or divide by a negative sign, I'm going to flip the inequality sign. So this tells me that b is 7 halves, or 3.5. So, I'm going to do that, then the question is going to say, is 3.5 a solution to this inequality? The answer is going to be yes, because that's exactly what you came up with. Sometimes, however, it gets a little more complicated, because they give you an inequality, 64 is greater than 11d, and then I, they ask you, when d is equal to 7, is that true? When d is equal to 4, is that true? When d is equal to 10, is that true? When d is equal to 12, is that true? The easiest way that I have found to do it is simply plug this number in for d. So, 64, is that greater than 7 times 11, or 77? No, it's less. 64, is that greater than 11 times 4, or 44? Yes, it is. 64 greater than 11 times 10, which is 110? No. And 64, is that greater than 11 times 12? No. So you see, the only one in this case that was true was d equals 4. Let's do one more of those. As I said, these problems aren't very difficult. They're not even very lengthy. They just require you to kind of take it step by step. If you're not used to writing everything down, I suggest you get in the habit of doing that. Write it all down. It's going to make life so much easier for you. So we're going to do it again, only this time we want to know if this is true when f equals 3, when f equals 6, and when f equals 1. So 49 greater than or equal to 138 divided by 3. Well, if you take 138 and divide it by 3, you'll find that 138 divided by 3 is 46. Is 49 greater than 46? Yes, it is. How about the next one? 49 greater than or equal to? I'm going to erase this so I have some room. 49 greater than or equal to 138 divided by 6. Everywhere there's an F, I'm going to put in 6. 138 divided by 6 is 28. Is 28 smaller than 49? It certainly is, so that one's also true. And the last one we wanted, 49, is that greater than or equal to 138 divided by 1? Well, that one we don't even need a calculator for. 138 divided by 1 is 138. Is 49 greater than 138? No. So when you're evaluating your inequalities, know there's two things to do. One is to pretend to solve it and see what you come up with and then, and then evaluate what you've been given. But if you're given a long list of numbers to put in for the variable, go ahead and make yourself a list and just drop it in, do the math, and see what you come up with. If you have any other questions about evaluating variables with inequalities, please either send me an email or just put a comment down in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. Thanks and have a good day.